According to Dr. Nigel Clark, later this year, the JSE, that's Jamaica Stock Exchange, will become the first stock exchange in the region to facilitate the issuance of green, blue, and other sustainable bonds. This initiative aligns with the country's ambitious goal to channel investments worth US $5 billion by 2050 aimed at mitigating the impacts of a warming climate. These bonds are designed to reduce the risk for private companies involved in major sustainability projects. Government involvement in these bonds, like concessions or owning a share, helps reduce risks because it provides added support and security, making the investment safer for everyone involved. Welcome or welcome back to Artsy Island Girl Jamaican Vlogs. I'm Artsy and this is our development series where we focus on developments taking place in Montego Bay, Jamaica and across the world. We meet here every Sunday at 11 a.m. Plus, we do bonus videos within the week. This is a bonus video. If you're interested in these types of videos, don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett announces a significant boost to Jamaica's economy as Spanish investors commit an additional U.S. $700 million for 2024, totaling U.S. $2.2 billion in investments. Expecting to create 20,000 jobs, developments include 1,000 luxury rooms in Lucy Hanover by Grand Palladium and a transformative project in Runaway Bay by Bahia Principe featuring 1,000 rooms, a residential community and more. Secrets Resorts plans 700 rooms in Richmond St. and Bartlett sees these as game changers for Jamaica's tourism, reflecting confidence from hotel partners. Number three. United Oil and Gas PLC has received a regulatory extension, allowing the company to continue developing the offshore Jamaica Walton Morantz license until January 31st, 2026, as officially granted by the Jamaican Ministry of Science, Energy, Telecommunications and Transport. During the extension, United will conduct additional technical studies, including piston core sound sampling and seismic reprocessing to further de-risk the petroleum system and refine prospects and leads identified on the license. The company will also continue the formal process and re-engage with interested parties. Number four, they've renamed River Bay Road in Montego Bay in honor of Gladstone Pop Lawrence, who played an integral role in the development of Montego Bay Boys and Girls Club. Number five, the second Global Tourism Resilience Conference will be held in Montego Bay, Jamaica on February 16 to 17. The program is focused on creating resilience in tourism. It includes panel discussions, debates, presentations, and networking. Some of the topics are building tourism digital resilience, building tourism infrastructure resilience, and women in tourism resilience. The event will also feature a Tourism Resilience Awards Gala acknowledging contributions to global tourism resilience. Thanks for watching and if you're interested in learning more about developments taking place in Montego Bay, Jamaica and across the world then don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe. And plus check out the playlist. I have many videos there for you.